In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to make a simple steel material. In this tutorial, we will learn how to quickly create a brushed steel effect like this. For this purpose, we will use this icosphere and turn it into brushed steel. So, let us go to the materials tab and create a new material. We need to make just two simple changes here. First, change this metallic value to 1. And then, reduce the roughness value to 0 0.2. That's all that we really need to turn it into simple steel. If we go to the material view, we can see this nice metal look, but we are still at step 1. If we go to the rendered view, everything looks black because of the poor lighting. While working with sophisticated materials, we should use some HDRI background, like what Blender uses by default in its material view. In order to use this same environment in our rendered output, click on this small drop-down and disable this scene world option. Instead, we will use this default HDRI environment. We can now see the steel effect nicely for our icosphere. Let us now move to the next step. We will create the brush effect for our steel in the shader editor. So split the screen into half and open the shader editor on the left side panel. We can close this section. By default, Blender has added a principal BSDF node. Let us add a texture coordinate node here. Then, add a mapping node. Connect the generated output of the texture coordinate node to the vector input of mapping. And then, we need a noise texture for the brush effect. So add a noise texture here. Connect this vector output to the vector input of the noise texture. Reduce the scale value to 3. Then, change the details to 20. And also change the roughness value to 1. After that, go to the Add menu and add a bump node here. Connect the FAC output of the noise texture to the height input of this bump node. Change the strength value to 0 0.05 and the distance value to 0 0.2. Connect the normal to the normal input of the principal BSDF. That gives us the basic and realistic, simple steel outlook. Let us now move to our step 3. In order to create the brush effect on this steel material, simply go to the mapping node and increase the Z value to say 200. It exaggerates the Z value artificially and creates these horizontal brush lines. Very simple and quick. By changing the node values, we can customize it further. If you need deep lines, you can reduce the scale factor here, it will create very sharp brush lines. And if you use a higher value, you will get a lighter effect, with very subtle brushed look. Let us keep this value at 3. This brushed steel will work for any object, unless you have a horizontal surface. If you have a cube, for example, you will need to tweak it, because a cube can have a perfectly horizontal face, and this Z value will not work as it remains constant for a horizontal plane. Let us delete this icosphere, and I will quickly show you how to use this for a cube object. In the materials tab, let us apply the brushed steel. We can see the brushed steel effect quite well. It works fine for all its sides without any problem, but if we go to the top or the bottom face, the effect is not at all visible here. And that is because the Z value is constant on this surface. We have to modify this material just for the top face. So, let us add one material here, and select the already created steel material for this. Then copy the material so that we get another material called Material 002. Now, go to the Edit mode. And turn on the Face Selection mode. Then, select just the top face of the cube, and select this second material only for this face. Let us roll back the Z value to its original value of 1. Instead, we will scale up the X value to 200. That gives us the brushed outlook for the top face, now assign this material for this face. The brushed steel effect is created, but it is little faint, not visible enough. So, in order to rectify it, let us increase the bump strength to 0.2. Now we have a perfect brushed steel look for our material, and it is applicable to all sides. You can use this method for brushed look of any metal. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.